Hi, I'm Kelsey Fulton, and today I'm going to talk about our work exploring the benefits and drawbacks of adopting a secure programming language. To start, memory safety vulnerabilities remain a problem. As recently as May 2020, 70% of the vulnerabilities in Chrome were reported to be memory safety problems. In a similar vein, over the last 17 years, Microsoft reported that 70% of the vulnerabilities in their products were also memory safety problems. Overwhelmingly, these problems can be attributed to C and C++. So in order to rectify this issue, we might consider either fixing or replacing these languages. And Mozilla attempts to do justice with their programming language, Rust. Essentially, Rust attempts both safety and performance, meaning to be useful where C and C++ are hardest to replace. So with this in mind, we might be wondering, one, what does the adoption of a secure programming language look like? And two, what benefits accrue after the adoption of a secure programming language? To explore this, we used Rust as a case study because of Rust's lack of garbage collection. And we started by interviewing senior software developers who worked at a company that had either adopted or tried to adopt Rust. We then followed up with a survey to the broader Rust community. To start, I'm gonna talk about our results in regards to learning Rust. One drawback mentioned by participants was that Rust is hard to learn. One participant felt that Rust had a near vertical learning curve. Participants mentioned that Rust was more difficult to learn than other programming languages they already knew. However, Rust is not without support for learning the language. One benefit mentioned by participants was that it's easy to find solutions to problems when working in Rust. And they attribute this to good compiler error messages. As one participant said, the compiler is good at telling you what's wrong. Good official documentation, as well as the helpfulness of the Rust community. One big benefit of Rust is that it has a positive impact on development. For example, Rust improves confidence in code correctness. Our participants felt that once they got their code to compile, they could be confident that it was correct and bug-free. Rust also improves long-term productivity because our participants knew they'd had spend less time chasing and hunting down bugs and vulnerabilities. And lastly, Rust improves safe development in other languages because our participants felt that Rust adjusted the developer mindset. Specifically, Rust teaches new paradigms and secure mental models that then the developers take with them when they work in other languages. This is exemplified by one participant who mentioned that since learning Rust, they see the unsafe things they've been doing in other languages. However, despite these positive impacts, employers still express concerns about adopting Rust. One concern mentioned by our participants that their employers had was the steep learning curve. Specifically, because of a steep learning curve, developers spend a lot more time learning the language and a lot less time developing for functionality. Participants also said that their employers were concerned about a difficulty in hiring Rust developers. For example, one participant's company mentioned not wanting to keep a project in Rust because they were worried about having to hire new developers in the future. So with these concerns in mind, our participants distill some advice for security advocates who want to get a secure language adopted at their company. The first piece of advice is to demonstrate the value of Rust, specifically showing that Rust offers a measurable improvement over the current language being used. Because of the high upfront cost of the language, it's important to show that paying that high upfront cost is worth it. Participants also advise that advocates be helpful and have a good support system specifically being willing and able to help new developers, as well as building in an existing support system for new Rust developers. This is especially important because the language is difficult to use, and our participants mentioned that learning the language with a mentor made it much simpler. So with this in mind, we offer some takeaways. One being that documentation, community, and feedback matter a lot, as these were all benefits mentioned by our participants. Another being that a steep learning curve can inhibit the adoption of a secure programming language, chiefly because companies have to pay up front and then benefit later, but they may not benefit at all. We may fl consider flattening the learning curve of the language by creating a version of Rust that allows developers to learn security concepts incrementally rather than all at once. And lastly, we could consider reducing the risk of investment for companies by creating a trained pipeline of Rust developers or possibly building infrastructure for the language. I'd like to thank the NSF for sponsoring this work. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions at the live Q&A.